Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Let's Play, wo ich mich schon wahnsinnig drauf gefreut habe. Killer Frequency. Ähm, ich weiß nicht viel über das Spiel, aber ich weiß darum, dass es darum geht, dass äh, ein Serienmörder wohl sein Unwesen treibt und einer im Radio ist. Wenn ich es richtig verstanden habe, beziehungsweise im Kopf habe, dann sind wir derjenige im Radio. Ja, ich hätte vorher noch mal gucken können, weil ich habe das jetzt schon länger auf meiner Liste gehabt. <lacht> ich habe jetzt nicht mehr alles durchgelesen. Wir fangen einfach mal an. Das Einzige, was ich vorweg sagen muss, ich hoffe, dass man äh, ja, eine gewisse Zeit für Entscheidungen hat, weil es wird ein extrem starkes Entscheidungsspiel. Jede Entscheidung, die wir tre äh, treffen werden im Laufe des Let's Plays, beeinflusst das Leben oder vielleicht auch den Tod der Leute. Bewegung. Du bewegst dich mit WSAD. Äh, bewegst die Kamera mit, das ist klar. Können wir hier irgendwas einsammeln? Okay, steht mit linker Maustaste, aber das können wir anscheinend nicht einsammeln. Boah, warum geht die Kamera eigentlich so schnell? Ah, die können wir öffnen, okay. Festhalten, um ein Objekt zu platzieren. Nee, können wir nicht, weil wir haben ja nichts zum Werfen. Die Flasche konnte ich nämlich nicht, oder muss ich die gedrückt halten? Ach, jetzt kann ich es nehmen. Vorher konnte ich es nicht machen, okay. Ja, weit werfen können wir die Flasche offenbar nicht. Und aufnehmen können wir es jetzt auch nicht mehr. Ah, doch. Ach, wir müssen ganz nah rangehen. Ah, nee, das war eh. Entschuldigung. Zack, und wir haben es reingemacht. Festhalten, um ein Objekt zu platzieren. Aber ich muss mal eben schauen, ob ich die Kamera nicht die Hälfte runterdrehen kann mit der Schnelligkeit her. Einen Moment. So, dann schauen wir mal. Okay, es ist zumindest nicht ganz so extrem. Obwohl, es ist immer noch sehr, sehr stark. Hm, mal gucken, ob wir damit zurechtkommen. Da ist eine Gasse. Da drin pfeift doch einer. Hallo? Können, die, können wir die nicht? Doch, können wir. Objekt untersuchen. Mit E. Äh, drücke E, um mit der Untersuchung zu beginnen. Ah, okay. Und dann können wir das so drehen. Okay, äh, um das Objekt währenddessen drücke eh zum Verlassen. Okay, ja, können wir hier rein? Anscheinend nicht. Er stellt denn hier seine Pflanze einfach auf den Müll. So geht das aber nicht. Ah, okay, mit dem Mausrad können wir anscheinend auch die Gegenstände... Türen öffnen, äh, die Gegenstände tauschen. Halte linke Maustaste, bewege in die angezeigte Richtung. Guten Tag, hallo. Kann ich nicht nehmen? Ach so, doch. Ah, ich muss das dann ins Inventar reintun, oder wie? So? Nee. Oder kann ich das einfach nur nicht nehmen? Jetzt habe ich es wieder weggelegt. Die Steuerung ist noch ein bisschen komisch. Oder wir können es einfach nur nicht aufnehmen. Das kann natürlich auch sein. Alter, wer hat jetzt die Tür geschlossen hier? Oh, hallo? Oh oh. Ich dachte, wir sollen die Leute retten. mit dem Kugelschreiber. Bin ich jetzt tot? You uh you hear something Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling or I don't know how. Forest, is this a joke? No, I I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. 
<laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Ich sehe ja gar nichts. Äh, benötige ich eine Anleitung für das DJ-Pult? Äh, lass uns die Überprüfung heute mal bespringen. Äh, ja, klar, brauche ich die. Fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Ja, die Platten konnte ich eben nehmen, aber eben äh, jetzt kann ich sie irgendwie nicht mehr nehmen. Ich weiß auch nicht warum. Hallo? Äh, uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Nee, echt? Würde ich gerne, aber ich krieg das Handsymbol nicht mehr. Danke. Oh. <lacht> ich wollte aber nicht die Tasse werfen. The record player is on the right. Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Nee, echt? Dann hit play. Kann man das denn irgendwie wegstellen hier? Weil ich krieg halt das Symbol nicht mehr. Eben hatte ich noch so ein Handsymbol. Aber jetzt, wo ich brauche, ich hab's kaputt gemacht. Ich glaube, ich hab's einfach kaputt gemacht. Hallo? Kann man hier irgendwie I drücken oder so? Auch nicht. Q... QE scheint das gleiche zu sein. Äh, uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Ja, ich krieg kein Handsymbol mehr. Warum weiß ich nicht? Kann ich das? The record box is on the left and the record player is on the right. Pick ah, jetzt and kann ich eine machen. Ah. Then hit play. Aber ich kann sie nicht drauflegen. Warum kann ich sie nicht drauflegen? Weil ich die rechte Maustaste drücken muss. Okay. Dann kann ich den jetzt wieder nehmen. Zack. Also die Steuerung ist ein bisschen Great. seltsam. Now turn it off. Und nun? Alright. Up next, phone line buttons. Your Telefon? captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Achso, das Telefon. Alright, Peggy. Mm. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Kann man die sich eigentlich angucken, wie die aussieht? Ja, it's a riot. Die sieht sehr gruselig aus. Just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. Ja, das ist die, wo ich gerade drauf gedrückt habe. Wie oft soll man da drauf drücken? For Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <lacht> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Okay, Peggy ist schon mal sehr, sehr äh, unlustig. Sound blaster? Das ist Volume wahrscheinlich. Was ist das hier? Sound Blaster. Front of the desk to the right. Von rechts. Ne, das müsste doch eigentlich, oder? Das ist doch ein Kassettenrekorder. Aber das kann man nicht, also. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. Alright, we're almost done. Just the volume Ach, sliders left. Okay. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Okay. Oh no? Sliders should be right in front of you. Like directly in front. Ja, habe ich gerade gemacht, danke. Und nun? Ich sollte doch die Schallplatte benutzen. Play a song, grab the sliders and move them up and down. Go nuts. Peggy, was hast du für ein Problem? All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? I uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. 
It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16 Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late-night phone-in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and... Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Yep, kind of, because... So, don't... Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I... I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a We're going to need to scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic. <lacht> dann halt nicht, woher soll ich denn wissen, was davon was ist? Äh, meinst du das ernst? Auf jeden Fall, ich hasse, was aus mir geworden ist. Ich habe keine Ahnung, äh, was sie jetzt gerade gesagt hat. Ich bin hier nur mit der Kassette beschäftigt. Oh my god. Peggy, I may have sunk low, but I have not sunk that low. I won't do it. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Der verstörte Yeti schrei von der Klippe gefallen, der ertrinken. <lacht> ich den verstörten Yeti schrei. <lacht> Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Yeah, uh, music? Soll ich das Lied äh, vorstellen? Nö. Ach so! Oh äh, Gott, Forrest! That was amazing! Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <lacht> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. So, ich darf den Kassettenrekorder nicht mehr zumachen, also selbst wenn ich die Taste gedrückt halte. <lacht> oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Genau, die wird ja auch einfach immer so abgemacht. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, Caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Rufst du an, um den Schrei zu erraten? <laughs> Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. 
Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Uh I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three, mm. but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Nein, das ist eine ganz schlechte Idee. Genau, äh. Äh. I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Tür eintreten kann man vergessen, ist ja eine Zelle. Einen anderen Weg in die Zelle suchen, anderen Schlüsselbund suchen. Das würde ich jetzt vielleicht eher sagen. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Schreibtisch glaube ich nicht, weil die würden so einen Schlüssel ja normalerweise im Körper tragen. Also werde ich mal Sheriff Matthews durchsuchen, sagen. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so okay. good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? <lacht> Scheiße. Äh, die ganze Nacht stehe ich das nicht durch. Ich denke, wir kriegen das hin. Ja, wenn das ein Kreis, äh, ein Streich ist, schmeiße ich hin, genau. Ja, das scheint okay. Maybe Leslie was right. 
Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, wolf, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Äh, du fährst weg, wir sind auf uns gestellt. Ja, ich würde mal sagen, gute Idee. Vielleicht kann man sie damit noch retten. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I Oh oh. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Oh, Forrest, we have big can trouble. Five. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Er schließt die Tür. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Warum right. geht es auf Zeit? Schnapp den Polizeiwagen. Keine Ahnung, ob das gut ist, aber. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like you should take one of those. I... Yeah, yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. Uh... I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Du frag mich doch nicht. Ähm Sheriff Matthews Waffe nehmen, Deputy, also Deputy ist die, die noch lebt, ne? Dann würde ich sagen, nehmen wir seine Waffe. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Nein. I Empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Ja, den Taser würde ich sagen, ne? Schlagstock ist Blödsinn. Pfefferspray könnte noch gehen, aber nimm den Taser. I mean, it's gotta be the Taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? Nö. Yeah. No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. Uh, sei vorsichtig, genau. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Nein! Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Wie soll nicht rausgehen? Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? Nein, will no sie nicht? like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now. So I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Nein. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. 
God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Aber das wollte ich so gar oh, nicht. Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Hallöchen. Äh, 10 4. <lacht> We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. <lacht> But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! That's the Leslie, most... what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Take that! Get gas, Leslie, no. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away or Forrest, that taser definitely the right call. Whoa. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. <laughs> Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek as a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Ja, drück auf die Tube, sie soll vorsichtig sein, ne? We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Bau keinen Unfall, ja genau, sei vorsichtig. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Ja, damit haben Folks, wir dann den ersten here. Fall. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie We're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... did. Tja, was ist mit ihm passiert? Gute Frage. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was... well... It was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. But what's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Ja, wir werden es schon herausfinden. Obwohl, wie sollen wir herausfinden, was mit ihm passiert ist? Wir tun einfach unser Bestes. All right. Copycat or ghost killer, I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit! <sighs> At least we got the word out, I guess. 
What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know... Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big guests could pump that up to ten, fifteen. Easy. Five thousand on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Ja, ich bin im Moment allerdings noch nicht ready dafür. Ich würde nämlich sagen, dass wir dann hier einen kleinen Cut machen und den nächsten Anrufer sehen bzw. hören wir äh, in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann. Ciao. Vielen Dank für dein Like. Wenn du mehr davon sehen möchtest, dann darfst du mich auch gerne abonnieren.